All right, guys, so here I have a 6F35. It's a 2014 and up. And as you guys know that this uh, transmissions, they have a lot of uh, uh, wear heat right here on the case. And when you have very, very much, I mean, a lot of wear here, you end up replacing the case, right? So, uh, I mean, the bushing looks all right. Uh, but actually, uh, so we, I got a product here from uh, Superior, Superior uh, Transmission, and that's the part number. This is the updated bushing, uh, or the replacement bushing for, for this unit. Although this bushing looks in very, very good shape. Now the 14 and up, the bushings are thicker, they're different, and on the older ones, I mean, they leak a lot. So you would have, you have to replace this bushing every time on the older 13 and earlier models. Uh, so you would, you have to replace this bushing on all of them. Otherwise you will have an axle seal leak. The older ones are not, they don't wear that as, as much as these. So I have no clue why. Uh, I was about to go ahead and start putting this together, but then I, I decided to go ahead and, uh, and film this. Uh, so this is the uh, Sonics uh, shim kit that we put on these units and I mean I, I honestly I don't know if there's like a procedure to uh, to measure this what I use is an H gauge I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but this is an H gauge and I've already done the measurements and I've already done not the measurements but the calculation and this is very easy it takes the math out, out of everything now the unfortunately I cannot get my camera higher so uh, I have it on a magnetic base for a uh, calip caliper, you know, or not a caliper, a uh, uh, one of those measurement instruments. I forgot the name of it. It just fuck, it just slipped out of my head right now. <laughs> I know what it is, but uh, it just slipped out of my mind. Uh, it happens every now and then, I guess. Uh, what do you call that? Old timers disease? Yeah, whatever. All right. So this is the way I you use this thing. Well, you, you, this is the old bearing, right? So the kit actually comes with a new bearing. So before you do all the measurements and all that stuff, uh, you lay down your bearing, right? This is the way I, I lay it down. I lay down the bearing and then you position your H gauge on top of the bearing and then you tighten up. Oh, man, I can't. I can't, I can't get a better shot and I don't have wide lens on this thing. It's all camera I have and I'm not using my phone because my phone got full of stuff and on my phone I do have a wide angle lens that I can install. I have that Moment app and the Filmic Pro and the, all that good stuff. So this is how you set it up. So you, you sit it on the base. Well, I, I guess I can rotate the case, right? So there's one side. And there's the other side sitting on the on the edge of the case. Uh, so this is loose, and then you just position it in a certain way that you are firm on two places on the case, and you are just this rod is sitting on top of the bearing, right? So I'll just go ahead and tighten it up, you know, slowly tighten this up, snug up the edges. So now I am sitting, this rod is sitting on the edge of the case, right? So you just got to make sure that you are nice and firm and that you are on top of the bearing. All right, so we, we have the gauge already set up, already nice and tight, you know, both edges. I'm going to remove this case. I'm going to take this case off the bench now, and I'm going to set the other half of it. Get this shims out of the way. All right, and uh oh, hold that thought right there. Hold that thought. Set this on top of that. So I have the rest of the pieces right here. I have the differential. I have already installed a shim here. You know the one that I was going to use, and the two that I was going to use over here on this side. So. These are the rest of the pieces that we're going to use. 
and I use this little deal because this bearing gets kind of stuck on there on the case let's go ahead and get our other side of our case you notice I had I have removed the uh, the ring gear the differential ring gear off of it now this is our factory bearing it does not come with that bearing but it does come with shims for that bearing so now I'm gonna lower it down here lower it down there install our sun gear just like it is going to be installed on the transmission right so we got all these pieces in here and we have the uh, is this a new replacement bear no it's still on the case and now we have our replacement bearing and I'm just gonna set it there like that like so now the age gauge on the opposite end as you can see it's it's kind of short so now we're gonna sit the age gauge age gauge position it and I don't think this is all the way down or what now it's not reading right for some reason I'm pretty sure let's go ahead and drop this down here I don't have any shims here let's go ahead and for some reason I'm way up I'm way up over here let me take the differential out and see what what's going on here so we should be sitting all the way down there we go. We're all the way down. Get our sun gear installed. I have no shims. I do not believe that this moved. And it's not reading right. Alright, let's start this all over again. I want to go ahead and get the other side of the case. And do that. Okay, second take. Uh... I went too tight on this one and actually moved the rod down and you don't want that to happen so I loosen this up it has to be just snug just really really snug and move it in position to where it is going to be just right just make sure that this you you hold this firm down before you tighten this up And it's, for some reason, it's moving up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hold it from here. All right. So, I, I think that we're good. I think that we're good here. Just move it around. Make sure that you're barely touching that. And then tighten up your legs. You don't want the legs to move. All right. So this is our second take. Let's go ahead and remove this. And do the opposite side. So the only thing that's on that on that uh, other side of the case is the, uh, the replacement bearing. Let's go ahead and install our sun, sun gear and drop this bearing down. Now we need to uh, measure it, measure this side without the bearing. I don't know why I got confused there, installed the bearing in there. All right, so we got it without the bearing. And now we're going to need the shims. We're going to need some shims for it. So we are going to select a shim to put underneath here. And as you see, the shim is not touching the rod yet. So we need another shim. Let's install the, another shim on it. And this shim, it's touching the rod. Now, I had these other two uh, thinner shims. We can do a shim on the bottom and we can do a shim on the, on the top. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the, 
the shim on the little thicker shim, remove our differential, and install the shim in the front. And the shim in the front, we're going to install it on top of the bearing because that's kind of like what holds it. I mean, I try to put it underneath the bearing, but it is so wide that it is just going to wobble there. But I mean, usually the shims go underneath, not on top. But let's go ahead and drop our. So it's not sized correctly, in other words, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so let's go ahead and just drop this one shim right here. The wear is on this side, so in my mind, this side is what needs to be shimmed, not the front. So we can add another. It only comes, it only comes with one, so let's go ahead and add this. And now it's a little too thick. It's see how it's lifting it up on that side. Let's go ahead and rotate this and try another another side. And we are on top of it. So we need to remove the shim off the front and just use these two shims in the in the back. Now I got assembly lube. Now this thing got stuck in here. Get my knife. I'll lift it up. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and drop our bearing on there. I got a little bit of assembly lube so it won't just be flopping around everywhere. That bearing. All right. There we go. Install our sun gear. Keep in mind that we left that shim on it. And every time you get your age gauge, make sure that you don't touch the knob right here. Otherwise, you have to start all over. I need to position myself in a way that I can measure it right. There we go. Right where I was. And that's exactly, that is exactly where we want it. You'll feel like if you have, if it's going to, you think it's going to come out tight, you will feel the age gauge not sitting on it. It would be like floating. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, put our two case half together. Our two cases half together. And, and test it. All right. We got our shims. Did this thing move or what? Yeah, it moved. All right. So we got our two shims, and our two shims are going to go down here. As you see, it's got a tab. It's going to go down here. There's nothing yet inside the case. I was about to install this piston. It's not all the way down. But then I said, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and record this so you guys can have it, you know, and refer to it. So there we go. It's a dry bearing, so it's going to make a little noise. Just put a little bit of an ATF on it, and it'll quieten it, quiet itself down. It's a brand new bearing, so you got to dip it in an ATF. All right, so we got our differential installed. Let's go ahead and drop our uh, bell housing on it and just install three bolts on it. All right, so with the back of my hammer, I just want to make sure that it goes all the way down on the doll pins. And we're on it. There. We're on it. Let's get three bolts, one here, one here, right across the differential, and then one over here on the bell housing on the opposite end. And let's go ahead and just uh, snug them a little bit. There 
go. And now we just get our pliers and it's free. It's free and you try to lift it. This might have maybe less than five thousandths of an inch clearance, which is good. Maybe less. I can put a dial indicator. There we go. Dial indicator. Yeah, this this uh, camera I got it on a uh, I modified a macro microphone stand and a dial indicator stand with a magnetic base, and I mean to try to you know kind of film this kind of stuff. I should have taken this seal so you would have seal off so you would see better but there we go uh should i get a dial indicator on here and just to see how much clearance we got i guess i guess let's go ahead and do that let me put you guys on pause let me go ahead and do that all right not sure not sure how this is going to turn out but let's go ahead and zero this thing out and hopefully it does not flex too much and so there we go zero and i hope i don't bump the camera over here and i'm not sure how am i gonna be able to do this without interfering with the lens with the camera i don't know if i can pick this up somehow from in there let's try that so we got almost eight thousandths of an inch and I'm trying to stay away from from the camera oh yeah I knew that was gonna happen I knew that was gonna happen and nothing ever comes out good sometimes on camera like this and I don't know how this got bumped and this is pretty good solid I can't turn it okay so it was this one all right so let's see Let's try that one more time. One more time and then I'll just leave it as it is. To me it turns freely and when I put the pliers on it and I pick it up myself, I can, I can almost calculate like less than 10 thousandths of an inch. So my hand is here and there we go, 10 thousandths, 10 thousandths of an inch without even bumping you or bumping that thing a little more. And it stayed zeroed out. It moved a little bit, you know, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I can get my, my finger in here or I cannot get my hand in here. Yeah, I can get my hand in here. Turns my hand, which is good. It's not tight and it keeps on turning. There we go. I mean, so there we go. That's how you shim a case. And that's, well, I mean, that's how you use an H gauge. And, uh, I mean, I hope you enjoy this little short clip. Uh, and the trial and error is trying to set you guys up, you know, that, so that you guys can get a good shot of it. He's not really doing this. I mean, I could have done this and start, you know, filling the transmission up with parts. But there we go, there we have it. And uh, this is a complete overhaul, 6F35. Uh, it's a 2014 and up. I think this is a 19 model. I can't remember what year it is, but I think it's the 2000, 2019. All right, well, there you have it. And you guys know what to do. Uh, I mean, put your comments down below, subscribe or whatever, and like and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one.